Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today I brought a very new bottle here in front of the camera, a Jim Beam Signature Craft, 12 years old, 43% ABV. Ah, 12 years is for a Kentucky Straight Bourbon a very high age. The typical Kentucky Straight Bourbon fills around four years. Uh, Jim Beam in former times, I think they matured only for two years, which is the uh, legal minimum age for uh, maturing uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Um, but in the last decade, I think they increased uh, the maturation age up to four years and 12 years is three times as long. Uh, and they increased the ABV in comparison to the standard Jim Beam, which comes typically only with 40% ABV, which is 80 proof in the US. Um, there is a reason for it. Uh, <laughs> Jim Beam is not much <laughs> more expensive <laughs> than water. No, it's not right. Um, it's a joke. Uh, you can save money by reducing the ABV of a whiskey and the legal minimum in Europe for a whiskey is 40% ABV. Ten years, two decades ago uh, there were whiskies on the market with 38% or 37.5 uh, but then there was a EU uh, regulation uh, saying 40% is the minimum you must have and a competitor of Jim Beam reduced its ABV from 43 to 40 and there was a yell going through the community of uh, whiskey lovers that that's not all right but uh, today 40% for the mass market uh, seems to be okay. Um, so this one has 3 ABV more and significantly longer maturation periods and this should result in more aroma coming from the fresh American standard barrels. Jim Beam uh, goes uh, a twofold way. There are the small batch berms uh, which are Booker's, Baker's, Basil Hayden and Knob Creek. Um, they typically come with a higher ABV uh, ranging up to 56 for the Bakers, I think, and uh, to 45 for the Knob Creek. And I think there is a cask strength Knob Creek out there also. They are also called uh, small batch bourbons produced by Jim Beam. And now they use the original name Jim Beam for a small batch. How big a small batch is, I don't know. In the US everything is bigger than elsewhere. So small batch, maybe 50 casks, 200 casks, who knows. In Scotland a small batch is typically, say, 10 to 50 casks, that's all. I don't know. Um, what I like on this bottle is there's a uh, only a very, very small label down here. And the rest is printed on the glass so that you're able to see the full golden amber color of the whiskey. And American bourbon, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, is always not colored. So this is real color coming from the fresh casks you have to use for Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Uh, here again, small batch, bourbon whiskey aged for 12 years, Kentucky's finest alcohol. 43% volume and here's the signature of James B. Beam. James B. Beam was the founder, I think, uh, of the company and uh, the name is originally Böhm and he uh, came from Germany and started his business in the US and uh, I think Jim Beam is close to Bartstown, Kentucky. Clermont is the, the, the village they have. I think they have two distilleries down there. I visited both of them in 99, 98, some around that date. Um, and here the signature is from Fred No, the great-grandson of Jim Beam. 
Um, Jim Beam's signature craft is an extraordinary handcrafted bourbon whiskey expression that lets you explore the full-bodied flavor and rich complexity that comes from extensive aging. Yes, three times as long as, as the normal uh, Jim Beam. But be aware the extraction functions for uh, uh, the substances out of the wood into the whiskey, the maturing whiskey, they're going down in exponential functions. So three times uh, the maturation period will not result in three times uh, the taste. So it will come out less, much less. Signature James B. Beam. Non-genuine without my signature. Yes. It is. Oh. No cork. A screw cap from plastic with a ceiling in it. So durable. I think it's very good. So there will be no cork tastes to the whiskey. I do not like the metal caps uh, uh, which will loosen itself over the years and where the whiskey evaporates uh, through the or beside the cap. Uh, so I like the plastic screw caps but not the metal ones. In the beginning, fruity. Then vanilla, sweet vanilla. And then spices take over. Yeah, perhaps there's a little bit of rye whiskey in it. Or rye as a, an ingredient in the mash bill. So Kentucky straight bourbon might not be mixed after maturation. You have to mix the mash bill in front of maturation before uh, you go into the still. A little oakiness appears. It's, it's rich and yeah, quite complex, but smooth, mild, mellow. The spiciness is not too strong. Yeah. Yeah. Intense taste from the wood and mouth watering, a little oakiness appearing getting slightly drier. The spiciness is present. Mm, and it's going. The aftertaste is not too long and now a very slight bitterness appears. I think from the 12 years of wood maturation there you have to feel something coming from the fresh American oak casks. And this is what you have to expect from such a mature Kentucky straight bourbon. You will have more cask influence in it than in a typically short time matured whiskey, say two, which is the legal minimum for Kentucky straight bourbon, or four years, which is quite typically typical for most of the yeah, high volume brands. Yeah, the beginning is smooth, mild, mellow, then it increases with the taste and then during having the whiskey in your mouth uh, I would prefer a little bit more of alcohol in it so that the taste is carried better by the ABV so it's a little bit mm, don't overweight that, it's a little bit shallow in the mouth uh, typically people who do not like this sharp alcohol will be very pleased with this uh, mild whiskey in your mouth 
uh, but I would prefer a little bit more of power in it. And the aftertaste is not too long. Now the uh, light bitterness is went away and uh, this would be all right for a pre-dinner dram. Yeah, vanilla in it. Yeah, so thank you for watching whiskey.com and please stay tuned. Thank you.